This is the solution to written homework 26. Okay, so we're given three antiderivatives. Okay, the first one, the first thing we need to do is simplify. Okay, so that would be uh, simplified to x to 5 dx, uh, and then that's x to 6 over 6 plus a constant. So the purpose of giving you this one on this written homework is I wanted you to look at that product and at least briefly consider whether or not you should use by parts and then realize no 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 I should simplify it and not attempt by parts. So simplify simplification before using by parts. So again here on this one we see a product. Uh, however, this is the product of a polynomial 8x and, a, and an exponential and that cannot be simplified. So uh, we can't do a substitution, we can't do a simplification, so we'll classify this as being algebraic, classify this other thing as being exponential, and as a result of that consideration, we're going to end by parts, we're going to select that u is the algebraic part. So u is 8x, and dv is automatically everything else, e to 7x dx. So then du is 8 dx, and v is the antiderivative of that, so e to 7x over 7, and I'm not going to write plus c, because I won't be finished yet. So the right-hand side of by parts in terms of u and v is uv minus antiderivative v du. And plugging that stuff in over here, that would be 8x times e to 7x over 7 minus antiderivative v du. So e to 7x over 7 dx. And then, is that an antiderivative we can do? Sure it is, right? So this one would be 8x multiplied by e to 7x over 7, and then minus e to 7x over 7 over 7. So e to 7x over 49, plus a constant. And then for this one, this one again can be simplified because uh, you can add exponents, so that would be e to uh, 2x plus 7x dx, which is of course e to 9x. So that would be e to 9x. 9 plus a constant. And again, the point of putting part C in there is to check you to see whether or not you're going to attempt by parts instead of doing the simplification.